Hey guys, it's Blender Helix Alpha, and um, this is the second part of the, uh, the, the series of ZBrush tutorials. Um, and today, uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to um, be looking at some more tools and options that are going to allow us to edit our poly mesh up even more. And um, we're just going to dive into uh, a little bit more tools. Um, and uh, add on to our knowledge that we have. So, in the last tutorial, we looked at s um, some uh, tools in the in the brush section. First of all, I want to apologize because I'm really tired and it's like three o'clock in the morning when I'm uploading this. So, um, excuse me if I sound really tired and don't talk coherently <laughs> at times. But um, for the uh, previous tutorial, we looked at. Um, some of these more contemporary um, mesh changing outlets and so for right now we're going to look at some more drastic more detailed um, textured um, tools so what, what we can check out um, for now is um, one of my favorites um, called snake hook and it's kind of hard to describe, so I'm just going to um, show you what it does visually, so you can just look and see what it does. It pretty much grows whatever you um, whatever you select and drag. So you can make tentacles or spikes or horns. Um, uh, um, yeah, so you can do that, and that's a great tool um, to get started with and just to play around with. And um, so play around with that and get used to that. And then when you're done with that, I'm going to show you a tool called Slash. And you kind of have to use this carefully um, because if you don't, it can really cut down into your model and ruin it. And if it does, just press Control Z and turn down your intensity. I'm gonna turn up my draw size a little bit. Rotate over here. And I'm just gonna just etch some sort of artistic design onto his head, so you can kind of see what slash does. So I'm just gonna etch like a flame design on his head, and so we have that. So that's pretty cool. It's still pretty deep, so I probably should have done something else. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this design here. You can go ahead and edit your character however you like. So there's that. And um, um, that's another great tool to use, um, and you can create gills and uh, different stuff and we're going to move on to the tracks tab um, we're going to be using tracks 2, um, tracks 3 and tracks 1 do different things but for this we're going to be using tracks 2 and I have the alpha set on I think it's alpha 58 no I'm sorry it's alpha 22 and I have it set down the, the intensity set on 44 and the draw size set on about 50 so uh, with this texture I'm just going to be using, so actually I need to turn that intensity down to about 22 and the draw size I'm going to add it up a lot. Now I'm going to tell you something about focal, I'm sorry, focal shift. Now fo what focal shift does is it concentrates the brush power on one point. So it's kind of like having two brushes. Um, as you can see I'm dragging this and the second circle is getting larger. Now if you wanted to have a full out 100% um, texture um, it would be focal shift negative 100 and then if you wanted to have it all the way down and specify at one point you can have that. I usually have it somewhere in the middle. Um, it's really not all that important. It's about um, personal specification and whatnot. But um, So I'm just going to add some detail into his skin 
just to bump it and show you guys how it looks. Go ahead and do this with your character um, along with me. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on his skin. Pretty drastic um, texturing. Turn down the intensity a whole lot and then I'm going to put some texture on his face. And uh, again, in this video, it's just to show you some extra tools and tips and tricks, just to show you how you can make your own um, make your own character look better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to slash again and turn down my draw size because it's huge right now. Just keep etching etching things into his into this model. Turn up that draw size and turn up that intensity. Oh, that's pretty drastic right there. Turn that turn down that draw size. Definitely turn down that intensity. And remember we're gonna go back to um, the masking, so you can just cut off whatever you want. Um mask up whatever you don't want to be affected by the brush so I don't want those horns to be messed up so I will just go around here so um, yeah that's our character for now um, that's all we're going to do with him um, for this tutorial on the third tutorial we're going to start from scratch and make our own character I'm going to walk you through it exactly what I'm doing and we're just going to take it slow um, I hope this tutorial helped you um, if it did I encourage you to subscribe to me and tell your friends about um, the kind of content that I have on my channel. And uh, I'm, try I'm really trying to get my name out there um, in YouTube, in the Blender community, and uh, in the 3D modeling community. So help me out on that, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.